I'm glad you decided to help us. But I hope both the Phoenix Project and the Polyphonic Tendency can at least recognize that these attacks on the Mist Repellers aren't a coincidence. Somehow, the Pandora virus is defending its strategic interests. Tell me, do you think we can really coexist with something like that? Even if it's a challenge, this approach is worth pursuing further. That's what Zara said too. Very well. I hope I'm wrong. They like me a bit more, 200 of everything, and diplomatic relations have changed. So now I know where all their bases are now, right? I think that was what was supposed to happen there. They don't really have a whole lot. Okay. Uh... Can I recruit dudes anywhere? You've got a fancy dude I could recruit. Dan Cyborg Divine. Divine. 500 materials. Oof. Uh, and you guys trade for food. You guys don't have a trade. We need these things. The tech for... Wait, tech for food. Oh, I see. That's what they that's what they'll give me if I give them that, right? No. Huh. Uh I need I need the orange shit. There we go. You'd work. Food food for that. Go go down there and talk to them. They've also got a fancy dude to maybe recruit. Right over there, huh? Okay, I'll be there in a minute. One second. Uh, made contact with the Senator on Haven called Bakunin. Citizens are currently engaged in a scheduled debate regarding the ethical dimensions of terraforming, in which an extended presentation by a member of the Polyphalic Tendency faction has caused a minor controversy. At the end of the day, the argument remains frustratingly unresolved and is set aside for the time being so the citizen citizens can vote on the issue of the Phoenix Project. Overall result is positive. Bakunin shares some of his resources with us. Okay, sure. Thanks. Food for that. Absolutely. Like, all of it. Holy shit. I can't control click or anything, huh? Whoops. And certainly not right click. Okay, well, there's 405 of that. Sullivan Scream Coxley. Can't, can't get him. Really curious what you guys are. Yikes, 26 verse 5? Holy fuck, holy. You guys, I might just let you die, actually. Wow, that's... Bad news for you. Let's head back home. There's probably, like, a really terrible mist nest whatever out there somewhere. Sinedrian, we are told, are working on ways to repel the mist. This, by itself, is not a sin. We do not condemn it, for the mist is a flood and brings life and death alike. They seek safety for their people, as do we. But if you push the flood away too far, you will die of stagnation. Sinedrian has forgotten how to look beyond the flood, at the wide sea, at the future. Instead, they look inward, lost in a maze of reflections. What they offer is not salvation, but a trap. And they don't like Sinedrion very much. And I think that just prevents you from managing to be diplomatic with everybody. Disciples of Anu Haven, their energy... Haven, New Jericho, energy generation. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I mean, I've already got your tech. I no longer care about it. I got what I wanted, basically, you know? Haven Rip Haven. How are we doing for... I got a lot of stuff. Cue it up! How are we doing on the whole... leveling business? Twilight Duck is level 4, 50 points to spend. You can now hybrid into priest and stuff. 
Aha. Do we want that? Because priests seem kind of bullshit. It's like a berserker priest thing. Man, I don't know. Damage and speed increase proportional to the health lost up to double. Bonus accuracy minus 10 damage dealt. Like, I'm kind of thinking just assault just for dash. Like, dash is so good. Ah, we'll come back to you. You too, Carapies. Betor, you can promote. And you can get Rage Burst. Shoot with proficient direct file, fire projectile weapon using all remaining ammo in the weapons magazine. Whammo. And also recover two action points for each enemy killed until end of turn. Rapid clearance. What a combo. Okay. There. There's Batuar settled. Uh, Xerxes leveled a couple times. You can also new class. Mind sense. All organic enemies within 15 titles are automatically revealed. Sure. Gives you a bit more speed. Sure. I'm thinking I continue pounding out the willpower for you. It's like some of the basic stuff. Viral weapons. You can panic with a willpower difference. Um, it's nothing to really hybrid into, honestly. It's kind of an all or nothing, priest. Oh yeah, Sparksy, right. You're also a priest. Um... Sure, Assault Rifle Proficiency with more damage and accuracy, Grenade Range and Speed, and Bonus Willpower and 10 Perception Range. Sure. We'll hybrid you over to... You know, I'm gonna go Heavy Training with you. It seems a bit strange. But I'm gonna do it. And I guess... Heavy is like the natural thing for the Berserkers to turn into Bastion melee attacks dealing more damage, 50% more. You can also do the War Cry and stuff like that. I guess, I guess, I guess. The Rage Burst for a finale is a bit of a waste though, I think. Yeah, Trooper. Assault of Proficiency, 20% damage and accuracy. I guess... That works out pretty okay. So you can still use an Assault Rifle. I'll give it to you now. All right, yeah, the those ones. Do we have just a normal? I don't think we have just normal machine guns anymore, or assault rifles rather. There's the Ares. Cyclops, that's a sniper rifle. The Bulldog. It says we have one. One spare. Show me everything. Yeah, Bulldog. Uh, and mounts you... Can't, can't actually use because you don't have any armor. Right. Acolyte leg armor, 18 armor, 3 speed. 20 armor, 1 speed. Kind of a upgrade. Slightly less armor for an extra two speed is pretty okay. And yeah, I can't I can't put mounts on. Sure. Um I'll give you a war cry. That's a pretty cool one. Induce panic could be pretty sweet. Mind control? I, I guess. Why not? You never know. Maybe we get the opportunity and have some will. I don't know. You also need a name. Voita. Welcome. The few is fine. 
Myleth is okay. Solus Densa is iron. Um, yeah, so... Twilight Duck. Um, yeah. Maybe Berserker Training? Because, like, it's just generally... It's just generally useful things, and Armor Break is just the next attack deals 50 additional shred damage. Uh, so we can pierce the armor really well with you, and considering you've got a shotgun, that sounds like a pretty nice deal. And close quarters evade. Uh, you don't have any more SP. But close quarters evade. Seems like a pretty okay idea. Equipment wise. I don't know if you can have the cool fancy stuff. And then that means the Berserker guys um, have have heavy training, I guess, for at least Brawler and I guess Warcry. Ignore Pain will be awesome. You can have expert shooters, so you're super accurate. You can already use shotguns and handguns. I think you get just general assault. You can have return fire and dash then. So you can have assault rifles, shotguns. You're like really fucking good with shotguns. I don't think we have any shotguns for you though. Probably do. So we'll give you that instead. Whoops. Get some spare ammo. So you're generally just, like, a fairly close quarters guy. And, uh... Yeah, that, that's okay. I'll leave you with a sword for a bunch of bleed. Having a hard time figuring out some synergies with you guys. And that is everybody. I think I just give you some more speed here. Okay. Uh, manufacturing the Disciples of Anu legs we determined was a pretty good, uh, good bet. It's just a general upgrade. That's the Berserker leg. Acolyte leg armor. Assault leg armor. Can I actually just sort with just assault? Uh, so we have the Odin leg armor. The Golem B, that's a heavy leg armor, though. Yeah, okay. So we'll just make... I don't know. Twenty on the body armor. And Twenty on the bottom armor. That 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 is a straight-up upgrade. Okay, well, I'm I'm out of that. We have to do some raiding to get more, which we're almost ready to do. Still just getting the stamina back. Blocks of birds flying in strange, repeating spiral patterns. Persist in doing so until death from exhaustion or malnutrition. Unfortunately, we have been unable to locate the specimen to examine, so we cannot determine whether this anomalous behavior is a result of the Panthora virus infection or not. You have a factory that I could raid. If we fly down there and take a look at that. Raid materials. No alert, but high threat. So it says. And folks like us a lot more for doing that. Eliminate enemy forces, prevent damage to material cases to capture them. So they're going to run around and try to destroy this stuff and I have to fight them off, huh? Maybe I swap some dudes around first. Maybe I just hold off on that and we just, like, look for a base, because holy shit. We still need to do that. The third base. You guys are all in the Manticore. That's fine. I'll take Xerxes, though. We'll swap, I don't know, Solus and Xerxes. So we got five dudes on the Manticore. That's pretty okay. Equipment wise, I guess there you go. Equipment, you have no gun. 
We made a virus rifle for you, so there you go. I've also a medkit. Actually, maybe a paralyzing melee weapon. Maybe I can mind control something and just paralyze it down. Although with you being a melee weapon, that'd actually be good with the uh, the heavies and berserkers and stuff. But I'll get, I'll have you have it anyway. That, that's fine. Um, bet to work because you've got the yeah brawler. Well, no, we don't really want it to do more damage, do we? We want it to do paralysis, which isn't a damage. I don't think there's a way to increase that. Uh, oh well. Uh, have that, and a rocket. So that's you set. Okay, that's everybody. You're also pretty injured, Batur. Yeah, that's okay though, I think. We'll, f we'll figure it out. We need to go out here and do a scan, I think. The Thunderbird. Let's get going with that. To Prisoner Revised, Secure Cryo Lab. So we've had that for a while, also. Acolyte Leg Armor is done. Good, good. I don't have the resources for an area scan. Oh, shit. Right. Ah, oh, fuck. Uh, anybody want to trade? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> I am so broke. This mutog research the disciples are engaging in is deeply troubling. Fooling around with mutation is dangerous enough to begin with, but to not even have a proper way of controlling the creature you've created. Oh, that sounds fun as hell. How long before one of these creatures goes berserk? How long before there are unexpected consequences to their genetic composition? How long before a few of them get free and start breeding? Is the Exalted trying to fight the Pandorans or strengthen them? Yo, what? <laughs> you talk war beast. That sounds fun. Ooh. The Mutog is a fierce creature that combines the abilities and characteristics of multiple animals. It is able to leap huge distances, destroy walls, and even regenerate body parts. The mutation and cloning process for Mutogs is extremely sophisticated and requires a generous supply of mutagens. Nonetheless, they can be manufactured like any other war machine. The Venomous Agile Basher Mutog, the Venomous Agile... Oh. Can I only have that many then? Or... How's, how's that working? Do we even have the... Lab for that yet? No, nah, still two days. Okay. Continue on. Oh yeah, discovering all sorts of stuff. Mutagen harvesting was researched. Mutagens can be harvested from captured Pandorans in the contaminated facility now. 70% uh, of a creature's mutagens to be extracted during a lab procedure. They need to be alive though, so it's just like a quick boost for it. Do you really think the answers we need as a species lie in Pandoran biology? in plundering the invaders for their mutagens? The disciples believe that humans need to evolve, to mutate. But don't you see the inherent misanthropy of this philosophy? Blaming humanity for what was done to it by an alien aggressor? The very premise is profoundly unethical. If we start telling ourselves that we need the Pandorans in order to improve ourselves, how are we any better than the collaborator who tells himself the enemy will make things better in the long run? It's none of your business. Unfortunately, since our mission is defending humanity from all biological threats, it is our business. Nuh-uh. No, it's not. You're wrong. 
we'll start doing some explore. Hopefully we don't get ambushed. Is that ah? Uh, hello, New Jericho. <laughs> well, you've got a you've got a craft there. Extreme threat, no alert. It really wasn't that bad before, but man, we got a weird team here. So I'm I'm not sure. Just high threat again. Raid materials. What all do we have? Um. The Berserker Heavy, Berserk Assault, Heavy Assault, Priest Heavy, Assault Sniper. It's a fucking weird combination of stuff, man. Let's keep exploring. Uh, good luck with it. Like, it does bring this down, so I should probably go defend, but... The bridge exploration site. Set down on a bridge in the middle of nowhere. Looks like a group of people tried to set up a haven here, building out from underneath the bridge, but the construction has been left unfinished. Either these people were killed, or they decided to move on. We search and find some materials and food. Nice. And we made it to the Prisoner of Ice Exploration Site. Operatives have discovered the cryogenics laboratory Simon's mentioned in his notes. It appears to have been a government facility, possibly a black site of some kind. As far as we can tell, Simes came here to examine samples collected in the 1960s, but unfortunately the facility has been compromised and now functions as a base for a group of raiders. We've had this mission also for a very long while, so I feel like I'm not very afraid. Um, I think I'll keep the, like, I think I just give the assault dudes this stuff, so they're a lot more mobile. Were you part assault? Apparently. Uh, six stealth, ten accuracy. Five stealth, ten accuracy. Minus one speed, though. I have that. It's a bit slow. Okay. So we have a sniper body armor if anybody wants that. Can have that. I don't know if anybody would want it. Give you that for a bit more speed as well. I think we just, uh, I think we're okay with what we've got. Poor Densai still needs to be hybrid anything. Here, be part sniper, man. So you're extra accurate too, and now you can do the extreme focus and quick aim. Uh, drain all of our whatever. Our SP, but. Now wait. I want to get you a quick game though, so then you can fire that thing with just 2 AP. And you can also now have the sniper body armor. Brings down your armor a lot. Reduces your speed a bit less. You would no longer have jet jump. But people are always saying that this is a cool thing to do. Reduces the armor a bunch. Like, ugh. I like the armor. But gives you plus 10% accuracy. Fuck, you look weird. And I guess if your head's crippled, that's not a huge deal. Okay. And, uh, the few just doesn't have a helmet. That seems like a really bad idea. Really bad idea. But I tend to keep you, like, super far back. We'll try it. 